is not guilty. He deserves a not guilty verdict. And I sure hope he gets it because you know what? Kyle Rittenhouse would probably make a pretty good congressional intern. We may reach out to him and uh, see if he'd be interested in helping the country uh, in, in additional ways. Kyle Rittenhouse is not guilty, my friends. You have a right to defend yourselves. Be armed, be dangerous, and be moral. And I am so thrilled at uh, the jury's verdict here. Now, I do have some colleagues on the Hill who have um, just like me, offered Kyle Rittenhouse an internship in their office. And, uh, you know, Madison Cawthorn, he said that he would arm wrestle me uh, for this uh, Kyle Rittenhouse internship. But Madison Cawthorn has some pretty big guns. And so I would like to challenge him to a sprint instead. Let's make this fair. <laughs> uh, how, how about I offer? How about I offer this? Allow me to arm wrestle him on your behalf. I love a good arm wrestle, and I would be happy. Madison's a buddy. I'd be happy to, to arm wrestle him on on your behalf. I'm Ravana, and welcome back to Rebel HQ. We are truly living in the dumbest timeline. Regardless of if you think Kyle Rittenhouse acted in self-defense when he killed two people and maimed a third, regardless of if you think the jury verdict was correct, there is no evidence to suggest that he would be a good congressional intern. But that doesn't matter to Bobert, Gates, and Cawthorn because they're not actually interested in getting Kyle Rittenhouse to intern for them because they really think that he'd be good at the job, they're doing it for the culture war. Conservative pundits and politicians alike have turned Kyle Rittenhouse into some sort of conservative hero, which makes sense for Matt Gates because we all know he has a propensity for underage people who cross state lines. I don't think he's a dopey kid. Just because he isn't Mr. Cool from New York City doesn't make him a dopey kid. Okay, this kid practiced CPR trained. He was a police explorer. He was a fire a cadet. 17-year-old guy that, you know kid that what? takes what his AR-15 to a neighboring You know state? what? You don't know what it's like in that part of the country. It's a part of life for them. Actually, Judge Janine, I know what it's like to live in that part of the country. I grew up 30 minutes from where Kyle Rittenhouse grew up. And wouldn't you believe it? It's not actually part of our culture to kill people. But why are conservatives grasping on to Kyle Rittenhouse as the savior of their culture war? What does he mean for their movement? Conservatives viewed the Derek Chauvin trial as a loss for them. And so they see the Kyle Rittenhouse trial as a win. A win in their made-up war against BLM and Antifa. Beginning of Memorial Day, BLM and their sponsors in corporate America. Unrelated, but isn't it just absolutely rich that someone who works for Fox News is complaining about corporate sponsors? Completely changed this country. They changed this country more in five months than it had changed in the previous 50 years. How'd they do that? They used the sad death of a man called George Floyd to upend our society. Months later, we learned that the story they told us about George Floyd's death was an utter lie. There was no physical evidence that George Floyd was murdered by a cop. The autopsy showed that George Floyd almost certainly died of a drug overdose, fentanyl. But by that point, facts didn't matter. It was too late. I uh, got about half a minute. Look, George Floyd was not an angel. He was a drug addict who initially resisted arrest. Yet I'm not seeing a lot of commentators go on the air and saying, you know what, Derek Chauvin is getting a raw deal uh, and being charged with second degree murder and manslaughter. And it doesn't seem to have moved the media needle much, if at all. Conservatives view these trials like team sports. Their team lost the Derek Chauvin trial. But now they had an opportunity to get a win with the Rittenhouse trial. So they needed to create a character in Kyle Rittenhouse that their conservative audiences could relate to, could feel like their ideology was on trial alongside Kyle Rittenhouse. But these trials aren't team sports. It's an opportunity for justice. And in the case of the Derek Chauvin trial, justice was served. In the case of the Kyle Rittenhouse trial, not so much.